This is the Music History Today podcast for May 22nd. On today's show, Terrorism Strikes, an Ariana Grande concert, Bruce releases his first single, and Police Stop a Non-Riot. First up, though, on this date in 1955 in Bridgeport, Connecticut, the police there, fearing that dancing to rock and roll would produce a riot, canceled a dance where Fats Domino was supposed to perform. In 1956, singer and actor Anthony Steele married actress Anita Egberg. In 1958, during a tour in England, Jerry Lee Lewis's 13-year-old second cousin, Myra Gail Brown, revealed that she was also his wife, setting off a public relations firestorm that virtually ended his career. In 1967, Florence Ballard sang with the Supremes for the final time. In 1972, the Guess Who recorded their concert in Seattle, Washington for their album Live at the Paramount. In 2006, Mary Wilson of the Supremes was in the hospital for heart bypass surgery. In 2010, singer Alanis Morissette married rapper Mario Treadway. In 2011, singer Keisha Cole married professional basketball player Daniel Gibson. In 2017, a suicide bomber blew himself up outside of an Ariana Grande concert in Manchester, England, killing 21 people and injuring 59 others. In 2019, the K-pop group AB6 was formed, and on the same day, the Elton John biopic Rocket Man was released in movie theaters in America. In classical music, in 1836, Felix Mendelssohn premiered his Oratorio St. Paul. In 1900, the mnemonic piano player was patented by Edwin S. Vody. And in 1950, Richard Strauss premiered his piece, Four Last Songs. In award ceremonies that were held on May 22nd, in 2002, Martina McBride, Alan Jackson, and Brooks and Dunn were among the big winners at the Academy of Country Music Awards. In 2011, Eminem and Justin Bieber were among the big winners at the Billboard Music Awards. In 2016, The Weeknd and Adele were among the big winners at the Billboard Music Awards. And in 2021, the band Maniskin from Italy won the Eurovision Song Contest, although there was some controversy with this particular winning as it was reported afterwards that members of the band were doing cocaine backstage. Drug tests revealed afterwards that that was not the case. Albums that were released on May 22nd include in 1967 when the Monkees released the album Headquarters, which was the first album where they actually played their own instruments and wrote their own songs instead of using studio musicians. In 1975, Minnie Ripperton released Adventures in Paradise. In 1979, Smokey Robinson released Where There's Smoke. In 1980, Diana Ross released Diana. In 1981, Toya released Anthem. In 1989, David Bowie and Tin Machine released Tin Machine. In 1990, Andrew Ridgely released Son of Albert. Madonna released the soundtrack to Dick Tracy called I'm Breathless. And The Pretenders released Pact. In 1992, Spiritualized released Laser Guided Melodies. And Ringo Starr released Time Takes Time. In 2001, Stabbing Westward released their self-titled album. In 2002, The Tubes released Hoods from Outer Space. In 2006, Natalie Cole released Lieben. In 2007, Ozzy Osbourne released Black Rain. In 2012, The Knack released Having a Rave Up Live in Los Angeles 1978. And Charday released Bring Me Home Live 2011. And in 2020, the 1975 released Notes on a conditional form. Singles that were released on May 22nd include in 1966 when Bruce Springsteen released his first single. It wasn't with the E Street Band though, it was with his original group, the Castiles. In 1967, the Birds did a twofer. They released Have You Seen Her Face and Don't Make Waves. Also on that same day, Aretha Franklin released Lee Cross. In 1970, Christie released Yellow River. In 1979, Diana Ross released The Boss. And in 1994, Stone Temple Pilots released Big Empty. 
Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on May 22nd include Calvin Simon of Parliament Funkadelic, composer Richard Wagner, Dana Williams of Diamond Rio, Elton John's writing partner Bernie Taupin, Iva Davies of Ice House, Jerry Dammers of The Specials, Johnny Gill of New Edition, Kenny Hickey of Typo Negative, Morrissey of The Smiths, musician Sun Ra, album cover photographer Aaron Rappaport, Bruce Rowland of Fairport Convention, bassist Dan Roberts of The Crash Test Dummies, drummer Dick Burke, Doug Gray of The Marshall Tucker Band, trombonist Eddie Edwards, jazz guitarist Alec Batsik, drummer Eric Delaney, flugelhorn player Franz Kogelman, Composer Giacomo Carasimi, pianist Giuseppe Logan, gospel singer Faye Adams, jazz singer Jackie Kane, guitarist Jesse Valenzuela of The Gin Blossoms, pianist Joe Springer, John Grimaldi of Argent, trumpet player Kenny Ball, Latvian musician Natasha Schneider, bassist Leon Francioli, Pianist Nat Adderley Jr., Nicky Wonder of the Wonderments, opera tenor James King, conductor Peter Nero, rapper MC8, rapper Talia Raps, music arranger Roger Segur, singer Charles Aznavoir, singer Leela James, singer Lexi Pantera, singer Shirley Murdoch, and singer Suho of EXO. Artists who unfortunately passed away on May 22nd include composer Garrett Wesley, who passed away in 1781 at the age of 45. Composer Heinrich Reichart passed away in 1801 at the age of 58. Composer Domenico Cori passed away in 1825 at the age of 80. Composer Franz von Holstein passed away in 1878 at the age of 52. Singer Ada Jones, who was one of the earliest female singers to be recorded, passed away from kidney failure in 1922 at the age of 48. Composer Hans Fritzner passed away in 1949 at the age of 80. Composer Vaclav Klikak passed away in 1953 at the age of 70. Violinist Frank Otterson passed away in 1971 at the age of 50. Composer Marius Monikendum passed away in 1977 at the age of 80. Composer Bjarn Brustad passed away in 1978 at the age of 83. Composer Mario Zafred passed away in 1987 at the age of 65. Pianist Stephen de Groot passed away from complications from AIDS in 1989 at the age of 36. Pianist Mikosla Horzowski passed away in 1993 at the age of 100. Bossa Nova jazz drummer Milton Banana passed away in 1998 at the age of 63. Jazz singer Lorenz Alexandria passed away in 2001 at the age of 71. The singer who sang, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch and was also the voice of Tony the Tiger in the Frosted Flakes commercials, Thurl Ravenscroft passed away in 2005 at the age of 91. Bassist Jack Fallon passed away in 2006 at the age of 90. Violinist Zev Steinberg passed away in 2011 at the age of 92. Composer Henri Dudelot passed away in 2013 at the age of 97. Opera singer Barbara Conrad passed away in 2017 at the age of 79. Jazz drummer Mickey Roker passed away in 2017 at the age of 84. And singer Maury Conti passed away in 2020 at the age of 70. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is May 23rd when, in 1975, Elton John released his album Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. <laughs> ¶¶ 